All right, this is uh, David, Whiskey Alpha 7, Delta Yankee, and I have here a new to me uh, Yesu FTM 400DR. I bought this uh, dual band radio to put in my truck. Um, I haven't installed it yet, I just got it a few days ago, and I've been playing around with it and learning some of the features. Uh, it's, it's a really nice rig so far, I really like it. I'm kind of a, a Yesu uh, fan. They, they, they seem normal to me, but I guess, you know, the Yesu was my first radio, so um, your first radio, <laughs> the menus and things tend to seem normal to you. So I kind of like the Yesu, uh, not that interested in the digital features. Um, I just wanted a really nice uh, dual band radio for my truck, and this is a really nice radio. I really like the, the interface and the way it programs. So anyway, um, what I wanted to show you is how to do basic repeater configuration on this. It, I find it's really easy. In fact, I was able to figure out most of it without really even looking at the manual. It's pretty simple. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to program in a popular uh, local repeater. It has a normal offset, um, so we won't have to do anything fancy. And I'll, sh I'll just show you how this works. It's pretty simple. So first we're going to, we're in VFO mode, so we're going to program it in VFO mode and then um, we'll save the memory. So I'm going to change the frequency. If I press the the frequency in megahertz, I can change the big digits with the dial, which is pretty easy. So I'm going to 146.82. Um, and then if I click on, click back out, uh, then I can just spin the dial and change the frequency normally. So we're just going to change it to 146.82, which is the repeater's output frequency. So here we are. And you can see. In the top left, there's a small negative sign showing you that it's the normal uh, negative repeater offset, which is this is a normal repeater in the band plan, so it's a negative offset, nothing special there. So the next thing we need to do is set our tone. So this repeater uses a tone of 103.5. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to press and hold the display setup button. That's going to get us into the setup menu. So we're going to press the signaling item there. The first item is tone frequency. If you turn this dial, you're just going to be choosing different menu items, so you actually need to click on that. Now we're clicked into tone frequency. We go up one with the dial. We're at 103.5 hertz. Great. We got our tone. We go back. Yep, go back again. And go back again. And now we're back. We have our tone set, but we don't actually have the tone turned on. So you, with this radio, you need to tell it, hey, you want to use the tone. The way you do that is you press um, the function key here just once, and that's going to get you into this little sort of top-level menu. And right here, we, we've got a squelch button. It says noise. So squelch is set for noise. If we touch this, we can toggle to different squelch types. And the simplest one is just a tone on transmit. So you can see T-TX down here. So now if we press F, we're back out. And then up at the top, you can see next to our negative repeater offset, you can see that we have the T-TX is set. So we're totally programmed. We've put in our tone. We've got the default offset. We've got our frequency. Oh, and there's, there's the repeater ID. All right, so now we've got our frequency and our tone programmed in. We've got the default offset, so we're all set up for our repeater, so we want to save this. Um, so the way we do this is we're going to press the function button, but you'll notice it says a little MW on it for memory write, so we press and hold it. This is going to give us the memory write menu. We can see all the memories. I have none. Um, so you roll the dial to choose the slot. And then you just click uh, the function button once, and now it's stored. So now we saved our memory. We can go in, we can look at our... Eh. We press and hold the V memory button there. It's going to bring up our list. Now you can see we've got it saved here. If we press and hold, now we're able to edit the, the memory channel tag. So. You know, I like to put in the call sign of the repeater in this case. K7. Uh, oops. L E D. You notice I had to press the caps button to get all caps there, but just nitpicky. I, I like mine to look good. So we save that. We hit enter. Now our memory's neatly labeled. 
So we go back. Now remember, we're still in VFO mode. So if we tap the uh, memory button, now we're in memory mode. You can see there's slot two K7 LED, just like we saved it. So that's how you program, uh, do basic pro repeater programming on the Yaesu FTM 400D and label it, save it and label it. This is uh, David, Whiskey Alpha 7 Delta Yankee.